司徒行行行。大家好，我是司徒建国。Now today, like every other day since the epidemic began, I'm wearing a mask, 口罩 Now these are vital for protecting doctors and nurses in hospitals, and for protecting essential workers working on the front line, and they're extremely useful for protecting people like me. Now surgical masks and N95 masks, they protect the person wearing them from infection, but they also prevent the spread of virus and disease. So I'm going to try and be of some help today. I've come here to Yenshan Shuhua, a factory that produces the most important part of these face masks, Rongpenbu, or in English, the melt-blown non-woven fabric. Hello. Unbelievably, the production line that I'm about to go in and see was built and put into operation in just 12 days, and it works continuously, 24 hours around the clock, because the demand for masks right now is so high. It's really loud in there, so I'm going to put these in first. Okay. Hello,你好,谢谢让我来这打工,你是什么时候复工的? 但是这个不能吃不能吃那我知道这个的城墙线比较底线化的那不能提是吗第一步骤上料 Well, I think uh, I think my work on the production line is finished. Uh, this factory so far has produced more than 180 tons of rock bumble, and that has gone on to create more than 180 million masks. What an astounding figure! Now, when Horsham Hospital was being built. There were lots of international media reports, you know, talking about the speed at which China can build a field hospital. Well, this is just as impressive. A production line built in 12 days, and it's turning out this much produce. 
Amazing, absolutely incredible. And it's here at another factory where the Ron Pumbo is converted into face masks or cold drop. Now, normally, people like me aren't allowed in here because it's a totally sterile environment. So, before going in, myself, my team, and the cameras and the tripods, they're all going to be sterilized. Now, the workers can't eat in the factory, of course, but they don't even go home. They all live together in a hotel nearby the factory, and that's all to maintain high safety standards. So, I'm gonna go change this mask for an N95 mask and get dressed, and then we're gonna go inside. This is the biggest one. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's a bit small. It's really a bit small. Oh, I'm getting very, very hot already. Oh, it's a bit small. My neck is too small. It's too small, so I'm changing it again into a big one, 4XL. I've put on a bit of weight recently. Oh, God. Now, this is how you can use it. Oh, it's a bit of a mess. Oh, sorry. It's a little bit. I'm exhausted. Oh, my God. Second time. Now I'm ready. It's a bit of a mess. Okay. Let's go. So this machine behind me is cutting out and stitching together N95 masks. Now the masks are made up of four layers, two layers of non-woven fabric, and then we've got the Rong Pong Wool, which was produced at that other factory, and then another layer, which is known as the Rong Yen. Every day we have to wear 40 40 I'm not very good at this. So the masks are being vacuum packed and you've got to be quick putting them in. I'm really not very good. Now the speed is not too fast. I've only been working here for about 20 or 30 minutes and I'm falling in half. I'm probably wearing too much to begin with, but Working in these suits and, and all this, it's not, it's not easy, it's not comfortable. So these guys are, you know, my hat's off to them. They had to slow the production line down for me because I was so slow. Thankfully, I'm off the line now and it's back to full speed. But these guys are working really hard and they're working for us to create these to keep us safe. So I'm really grateful to them and, uh, well, I'm not good enough to work here, basically. And here are the finished products, disposable face masks. There's a high demand for masks all around the world right now. The masks produced by this company are CE standards, so they'll be making their way to Europe. Now, in a lot of Asian countries, it's normal seeing people wear face masks. They're a public health habit that's quite common. However, as we saw at the start of this year, people in countries all around the world, European countries, African countries, people in the Middle East, the US, Australia, New Zealand, they just weren't wearing masks. Now, part of the reason, or probably the main reason, is that they're just not used to wearing masks. But there was also the very incorrect assumption that if you wear a mask, then you are ill. But that's absolutely not the case. And now, more and more people in these countries are wearing masks, or starting to wear masks after being recommended to do so, or out of personal desire. Now, the people in the factories where I've been today, they're doing a vitally important job. They're creating masks that are going to be used by healthcare workers and essential workers on the front line. So I'm very grateful to them. And uh, I'm looking forward to the day where I can take this mask off and smell these flowers. But until then, stay safe, and if you need to, Stay indoors.